Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I want to show you the latest 3D futurist in Adobe Illustrator 2022. So these new effects have been inspired from Houston Wilson, which is a fantastic type designer. And he did this uh, really cool uh, 3D effects that I got inspired. I did something similar and of course I modified it and came out something like this. So I'm gonna show you how to do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna use as reference this letter M and I'm gonna go and select the rectangle tool and make the background black. Okay, right click on the background, go to arrange and send to back. And as you can see, the letter M is somewhere here. I gotta paint it white. There you go. Or actually, I'm gonna go with some gray. Okay, from here, uh, you can also go to the effects. You got the 3D and materials. And as you can see, we got the new stuff here. Extrude and bevel, revolve, rotate, inflate, materials. And we got the 3D classics. This is, these are the old, you know, options here. Or you also have a special tab, which is this one, the 3D and materials. So this one you can I basically work with this mainly. This one you can find in the windows, click on the windows and here is the 3DM materials. All right, so I'm gonna click on the letter M and we can activate a few of the options here. So we got the plane, we got the extrusion, we got the revolve. Oh my God, I didn't want it to do this. <laughs> Anyways, we got the, this new thing which is called inflate and this way um, As you can see by the way this little scroll here you can uh, Click on this little dot and it's gonna rotate it however you want too bad It's flat with the background. It's not perfectly round because that would be a great feature So so far this is it. This is the new inflate option and what I want to do is click here on zero zero and zero there you go and i'm gonna go and work with the extrusion so we're gonna work with the extrusion and we're gonna activate the bevel right here this little switch and what i want to do is select from the classic the round so we get multiple stuff going on here and i'm gonna increase the width to maximum we got the height i think i'm gonna I'm gonna go with this 65. So, so far it looks something like this. Um, I'm gonna go to the materials. So here is the materials. This is the new thing. You can add a lot of uh, textures on it. You can try it out and add all kind of stuff. And you know, in some of the cases, the texture is gonna be really big. And you can scroll here down and there's some, oh my God, there's like so many options in here. So there you go. Th this is it, the position menu and we got the density right now it's 100 and if i increase the density for example on 400 or 800 it's gonna get more dense it's gonna get more smaller these patterns i'm gonna go and choose the um, i gotta go with this this looks pretty smooth at the same time all right so from the materials we're gonna go to the lighting uh, tab and you can see here the, the standard lighting and we've got the diffuse top left or right so from here you can also rotate this as you can see the lights is gonna go around and around I'm gonna leave, leave it somewhere around I don't know 50 60 at the moment so here basically you can choose what kind of colors you want for the lighting click on it and go with an orange I'm gonna go with this click OK I'm gonna press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F. Or you can go to edit and paste in front. This way it's gonna create another copy on the front, uh, on the top. So from here, I'm gonna change the color to a cyan, the lightning color. So this is basically the cyan, something like this. I'm gonna click OK. Okay, from here, we're gonna go to D, transparency and click on the none and select the difference. Okay, we're gonna go back to the materials and where's the rotation at the lightning. And just play around with the rotation until it changes the color. Hmm. I think this is pretty new. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like this, uh, 100 degrees. From here, I'm gonna press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F again. So it created a new copy on top. And we're gonna change the color from uh, blue to, I'm gonna go with the yellow. Click OK and again do the same thing the rotation 
I'm gonna leave it at 154 and basically you can play around however you like. Uh, I can put even another copy, Control c Control f I'm gonna change it. Look at that! It looks even better this way with another yellow and it's gonna get even better. 116, I didn't even knew this. So basically this is the new uh, 3D future of Adobe Illustrator 2022. And yeah, thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.